this is Taya Gurken, and I'm here to talk about my 1999 Loudon O10 guitar. When I bought this guitar, I was looking for an instrument with a lot of acoustic volume and power for playing fingerstyle guitar. And I think the kind of playing you're going to do is a very important consideration when you're looking for volume, because someone who's driving a guitar with a pick is going to be at a very different range of the sort of dynamic range to, to get volume than someone who plays relatively soft. And I was playing a lot of guitars, and I'd always liked Loudon guitars. I, I liked Pierre Ben Suzanne, and I'd seen him play guitars. So I was looking for specifically a mahogany and cedar jumbo, which the O10 is. Um, the guitar has since been replaced uh, that model by a model called the O22, which has the same wood combination but slightly different appointments. Um, so as I mentioned, this particular guitar is made with a cedar top, and cedar is known for uh, offering a great response for a uh, soft playing, and um, mahogany back and sides. It has the loud and typical five-piece neck. You can see it's primarily mahogany, but it has two uh, pieces of, I believe it's walnut in here, to strengthen the neck. I've replaced the tuning machines with Waverly tuning machines, mostly because I had them on another guitar and I really liked them on there and I wanted to have the same feel that I have on the other guitar on this, so I, I put the Waverly's on there. Um, I have the guitar outfitted with a LR Bags um, Anthem SL pickup system. You can see the control unit right in here. And it's actually been through a couple of different pickups over the years. I'm quite happy with what's in here now. Um, the guitar, like most Loudons, has a pinless bridge, so the strings are fed right through the uh, end of the bridge, kind of like they would be on a classical guitar. And something that's uh, fairly unique to Loudon guitars is the two-piece saddle. So two of the strings go over um, their own saddle, the two treble strings, and the four remaining strings go over the uh, bass saddle. And uh, Loudon is hoping to accomplish a better compensation of the intonation on the B string, the second string, uh, by doing that. And it works uh, quite well. So, um, as I mentioned, I've owned this guitar since 1999. It's served me very well. It's been through many, many, many gigs. It's uh, on both of my albums, uh, On My Way and Postcards. And um, it, it really has sort of done what I was hoping it would accomplish. It's a very powerful guitar. Um, if, I, if I dig in, it's a lot of volume. You probably can't really see it on video, hear it on video quite so well. Uh, for playing house concerts, for playing unamplified, and also for competing with other instruments. It, uh, it really works well. What I didn't quite anticipate was how well it would record, and it also happens to amplify very well. I think there's something about the clarity with the mahogany and the cedar that really lends itself to lots of different kind of musical settings, and I've been very pleased with the guitar. I sometimes wish it had a cutaway. I have another guitar that does accomplish that for me, so that it kind of goes hand in hand like that. Uh, and you can't get one with a cutaway, it's just that when this one came up, it didn't have it, and I'm so attached to it now, I don't want to replace it with an other loud in 010 or 022 with a cutaway. Uh, let me just play it a little bit more for you so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. I'm in uh, Orkney tuning right here, so that's a uh, low C, which gives an idea of the sort of bottom end that this jumbo guitar is capable of. Uh, it's a uh, C, G, D, G, C, D. So I hope you can hear that the guitar has a great range, whether I play it really, really soft, I'm hardly picking it right now, or digging in, um, there's a lot of power that comes out of the guitar. It actually works well playing with a flat pick, uh, backing people up, playing in alternate tunings and standard tunings. 
So for me, it's been a wonderful instrument. It's my go-to guitar for when I'm playing acoustically without amplification. It does work well with the amp with the pickup as well, so I can use it for both. But when I know I'm going to be playing completely acoustically or I need to uh, compete with other instruments, this is the guitar I grab, and it served me very well. I hope it's going to serve me for many, many more years. So that's my Loudon 010. Um, hope you've enjoyed this demo. Please come back. Uh, see us here at Pegat Nation for more guitar and instrument demos, and um, see you soon. Thank you. My name is Taya Gerken. Thank you.